Demonstrative pronouns by Andrea Custer. Demonstrative pronouns in Cree have a total of 12 because we have to take into a cons consideration three things. Is the noun animate or is it inanimate? Is it singular or plural? And how far is it from the speaker? In this chart, we see a table. On the top, it says animate or inanimate. Just under it, it's, is it singular, plural for animate nouns, or is it singular or plural for inanimate nouns? And on the left side, we have the distance markers. Is it near to the speaker, or is it a little further away from the speaker, and or is it a lot further away from the speaker? The next few slides will have some examples for you. In this first picture, we see a porcupine that's close to the speaker. Gagwa, awa. The next one, it's a little bit further away. Gagwa, ana. And it's a lot further away. Gagwa, naha. So this is an example for singular inanimate nouns. In this example, we see demonstratives for plural and animate nouns. The first one, the porcupines are closest to the speaker. Gagwak oge. And then now the number two is that they're a little bit further away. So we say gagwak anige. And then the last picture there shows that they're a lot further away. Gagwak nege. In this example, we see demonstratives for singular and inanimate nouns. Number one shows that the shoe is closest to the speaker. Maskisin oma. Number two shows that it's a little bit further away. Maskisin anima. And then number three shows that it's a lot further away from the speaker. Maskisin nema. In this example, we see demonstratives for plural and inanimate nouns. The example we have are two shoes. Number one shows these shoes that are closest to the speaker. Maskisina ohe. A little bit further away. Maskisina anehe. And then a lot further away. Number three. Maskisina nehe. To reiterate what I've said, when we're working with demonstratives, we have to um, know if the noun is animate or if it's inanimate. Is it singular or plural? And how far is it away from the speaker? References, Matsunehewewin by Solomon Ratt and a class that I took from Eric Wovengray, Cree 206. Except Thank you for watching.